Hello and welcome guys. Since many of you are pretty interested in my border crossing videos and driving in different country videos, I thought I'd start a new series in which I share my knowledge about driving in those different countries with you. Or at least the countries that I have already been to by car. So yeah, let's start. And today we're going to take a look at driving in Andorra, which is a tiny country which is located between Spain and France. It is also pretty hard to reach since there is no airport in Andorra. So yeah, getting there by car seems kind of obvious. But what do you need to know about getting there or driving there? I'll tell you. So first off, but that's kind of obvious too, you're going to need your driver's license and also your approval translucent. You're also going to need an ID, like a passport or something. And I also recommend you to bring your green insurance card, which you should get from your insurance insurance company. So these are the documents that you're going to need. So now about entering Andorra. So you might come from either Spain or France and getting into Andorra is easy. Getting out of there shouldn't be a problem too, but alcohol and tobacco are pretty cheap in Andorra. So you might be checked when leaving Andorra if you got any of those things with you. So be sure to know the limits of how much you can take with you. Now some information about the roads of Andorra. There is no highway in Andorra, just some kind of a country road. And the maximum speed limit is about 90 kilometers per hour. But there are signs everywhere telling you how fast or slow you may actually drive. Since Andorra is pretty much surrounded by mountains and mountains are found everywhere there you should be aware that it might be pretty hard to drive around there in winter. So if you're going there in winter, be sure to bring winter tires. There's also a legal requirement from 1st of November to 15th of May, just so you know. Also, if you've got children with you, children under the age of 10 must not sit in the front seat of a car. Next up, are there any toll roads in Andorra? And the answer is no, you don't have to pay for driving there. Also, there are speed cameras in Andorra, so be sure to not drive faster than you are allowed. Also, the traffic police will issue on-the-spot fines for minor traffic offenses, so don't break the law. Also, it's not uncommon that the police will stop you and check if you drank alcohol. Andorra has a 0.05 blood alcohol count limit, but you shouldn't drink at all when driving. So, and last up, I'm going to tell you what you should have in your car. So, if your car should decide to die during the time that you're in Andorra, be sure to bring a warning triangle. If you should plan on going there in winter, you should have, as I said, winter tires and also maybe snow chains in your trunk. Also, to bring some spare bulbs should be a good idea. And that's pretty much it. If you should have some remaining questions, don't be shy and ask them in the comment section below. I hope this video was kind of helpful or I don't know. And if you should be interested in more videos like these, please be sure to tell me or give a like or show that you liked that or it was helpful as I said. What the f am I talking? Okay, then I'll see you. Bye.